Blind Season 6, Episodes 10 and 11. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice, back with another video, back with another review. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And baby, if you're new here, I'm loud, crazy, all over the place, and I don't go bit by bit. I'm gonna go by what I want to talk about and what is important to me, okay? Let's get into this. Should we talk about the gossip? You know, Trevor is acting a fool. You know what? Trevor wasn't a good guy like we thought he was, huh? trifling so his ex done exposed him okay she was staying down with him because she's like okay you want to be famous you want to be on netflix that is an opportunity okay but then when she said she was gonna expose him he's like i'm gonna send our videos and pictures to your family and your son sir what first of all with all that body you got i don't think you would want to be sending out them pictures in um video because i know that thing is it's falling short of the glory because you got all that upper body and nothing below i can tell you that now and sir while you're trying to expose people you need to get your hairline fixed okay because i don't know what's going on with that red right there fix it before you're trying to expose people what are you doing like who cares and she said he already filmed the perfect match sir so he's on a perfect match too when they're supposed to release that trash and you know what i'm sick of netflix playing with our intelligence okay why are you guys just going on Instagram finding people? You you say you're doing background checks, but you're not. You need to hire me and a few TikTokers and we can find out what we need to find out before they enter this show and all this mess comes out, okay? So there was another guy on TikTok that was talking about how they found him on Instagram. He's recently divorced. He doesn't, he's not looking for a relationship, but Netflix still wanted him to apply. He went through the whole interview process and all that. And he's like, hey, I'm not looking for marriage. And Netflix is like, people like that. Don't worry about it. Keep going through the process. Are you serious? This man is saying, I'm not looking. I've already been divorced, but you want him to come on the show. Netflix need they ass whooped at this point, okay? And you know the other thing? Besides them just pulling people off of Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and wherever they finding these people at, and some of these people don't even want to be married or anything like that, they want to have fame. Some of them is just minding their business and they're DMing them, hey, you want to be on a Netflix show? Like, are you freaking serious so let's talk about these boring episodes that we just had to watch they made us watch wait for him to meet jessica and it was boo i was like so we waited for this it wasn't no drama it wasn't no smoke and then i tell you with jimmy and chelsea now did not tell you that that friend was hugging on him too much i told you that last week i said she was just a little too huggy for me come to find out he had effed one of them friends. And I'm really thinking it's the one with the white t-shirt because she was just like, Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, and I was like, bro, why are you hugging on Jimmy like that? What's the dealio? I told you, people don't, I don't care. I know males and females can be friends, but sometimes somebody wants to F somebody and somebody can't let go, okay? I'm just telling you. So him and Chelsea, they met his mama, daddy, and sister. They had a good conversation. Blase, blase. Let's get into the tea. So they're talking about the visit. Like, it was so nice to meet your family. Then all of a sudden, Chelsea flipped the switch, okay? So she's like, you went out. You took, after the camera crew left, you took a shower, and you went out. And some of the pod girls seen you and was like, why wasn't I out with you? And he was like, you didn't want to go. Yeah, but they were asking where I was. And then she said she told them, oh, mama got to sleep. I need to sleep. Then why are you making a big deal that he wasn't out with you? And then she accused him to be with Jessica. She is so insecure about Jessica. Let me tell you, the reason she picked Jimmy over Trevor, which Trevor wasn't no better, but we didn't know that, right? But it's because she wanted to compete with Jessica. She wanted to win. That's all it was. So she starts crying, started a fight. Let me get my notes because you know, it's a lot I got to say. Let me get to him. Okay. He said, she was like, you be texting your friends all the time and blah, 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 blah. He said he is not going to stop texting his friends. That's what he's not going to do, okay? And she talked about how he effed his homegirl. He's like, I told you that so we could have trust and that you could trust me. She accused him of seeing Jess. He told her she's insecure about Jess. He told her... It's not going to work. Then she begged him to uh, stay. And he was like, I'm leaving. Oh, don't go. Don't go. Why did you cause all this drama, ma'am, if you didn't want him to go? That makes no sense. You're causing all this drama, talking all this shit, accusing him of doing this and that. And you said in the pods that you didn't like to go out. He's like, I like to go out. I like to hang out. But you said in the pods that uh, people say a lot of things in the pods, obviously. Okay. Ain't nobody telling the truth. Everything is a lie in the pods. I'm convinced. Okay. 
but you're trying to control him. She's trying to control him and what he does and how he does it, okay? And she's like, you said Jess look like a Kardashian. Like, girl, you said you look like Megan Fox. And your friends said you look like Carrie Underwood. And the public said you look like Adele. I don't know. So why are you mad at somebody? He's like, Jeremy says she looked like the Kardashian. I was like, okay. And so be it. She is so jealous of Jess. She is so insecure about Jess. And Jess has no idea that this woman feels this way. And I don't think Jimmy is going to marry her. And he shouldn't. Jimmy should not marry Chelsea. Chelsea is insecure. She's goddamn crazy. How you talking all this stuff, forcing a fight on this man. And this man says he wants to leave. And then you say, don't go. What are you doing? This is not a game. He's not, I don't think he's going to marry her. He's trying to look good for the, um, the cameras, but I don't think he's going to, when they get to the altar, he is going to say no. And she said, and he said he felt, he felt betrayed by her and that he does not want to get married to her. But then he forgave her and he told her never to cross the line again. I was like, boy, you should have just ended it. But they said Netflix be like, if y'all don't get to that altar, you owe us $50,000. I owe you $50,000 after you found me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I owe you $50,000 when I told you I didn't want to do, I don't want to be in love. I don't want to be married in the first place. Netflix be tripping. You, you want them to owe you $50,000. Yeah, don't feed them. I mean, Netflix. Oh, child. I would not go on one of their reality TV shows. But they could give me a special if they want to, honey. Because I'll take a $60 million special. Anyways. Let's speak that into existence for Jay Shanice because some of y'all don't know I do stand-up comedy. I wish I have a show Sunday. Anyways, let's get into it. So then she met Trevor, okay? Trevor, she said Trevor is her type. Trevor said he cried over her. Trevor was her number one until he wasn't. And she said that Trevor would give her so much love and it would be so much fun with Trevor. She And I said she only picked Jimmy because she wanted to beat Jess. And Trevor wouldn't have been no better either because you would have found out he had a whole girlfriend. And that he had um, videos of her and pictures of her. You wouldn't have wanted to be with Trevor either, okay? I just don't know. It was funny because Trevor said Laura was his number two. But he's like, Laura kind of mean. I said, Laura would have caught you too. Like, oh, you a con artist. Goodbye, Trevor. Goodbye, Okay. Then Jimmy met um, Jess. He said, she's looking good. She's his type. He gets nervous when Jess is around. He felt pressure from Jess and he apologized to Jess and he said she was his number one. So Chelsea and Jimmy, neither one of them picked their number one picks, basically. Neither one of them. They went with their second picks. And this is why they won't get married. I'm telling you now, they won't get married. And if Chelsea thinks they're going to get married, she's insane. And that little stupid cliffhanger they left us at, I'm like, uh, she going to stay with Jimmy because she is keeping hope alive. She is trying to make fetch happen. So I don't know what. <laughs> they get left us on that cliffhanger. Matter of fact, you could have just ran the weddings at this point because you're boring us all. You're boring us. I'm sick of y'all. I'm. I was like this. I wasn't even paying attention to the episodes. I swear for Lord. Okay. Then, did you see how Jimmy got mad at her when she was like, did y'all see the top couple talking about Johnny and Amy? He's like, why would you say that? We Aren't we the top couple? I'm like, no, you're not. And Chelsea's not lying. Chelsea's like, I'm sorry, babe. Why are you saying sorry to him when y'all was just fighting about Jess? Why are you saying sorry to him? For what? And he slept with one of his homegirls that he introduced you to, but when he went to go try on suits, all of a sudden he had some homeboys. Then why you didn't introduce her to them instead of your homegirls? child and um she was like we're we're close we're close to them no you're not i have hope for johnny and amy they are super cute i have no hope for jimmy and chelsea i'm telling you jimmy's not gonna marry her and if they do get married they'll end up divorced okay let's get into let's get into our happy couple amy and johnny i just love them okay she decided honey i'm gonna get on um birth control i said i know that's right girl because seems like you're ready okay <laughs> She is ready. She is ready for Johnny. I ain't, ain't going to blame her. They was building furniture together. They met her dad. It was such a sweet moment. I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And her dad gave his blessing. And it was just sweet how he just loves on her. He's like, I prayed for you. I love you. I said, okay, daddy. Oh, period. And then they talked about her keeping her last name hyphenated, okay? And he was like, as long as the kids got my last name. And she was like, that's fine, but I want to keep my last name. I said, okay. And 
that was really it with them. They're just cute. They are the top couple. They're the only, well, I'll just do that and the, the camera did like this. Anyway, they are the only couple I think is going to get married. If they don't get married, baby, I'm going to be shocked. Like, what happened off camera? Because they are too cute and everybody knows that they're the number one couple. I am rooting for them all the way. They're the only couple I really is go think is going to get married because everybody else is a sh show. Everybody else I have no hope for, okay? Let's get into Jeremy and Laura, okay? So he ended up meeting his mama at the uh, dog park and he told his mama what had happened where he was in the parking lot, the alley, and then ended up in the girls' parking lot where her apartment is. And his mama said, you better be glad Laura ain't me. I said, oh no, that's right, mama. Mama said, I don't give a damn what you're talking about. Y'all was talking or whatever, whatever. Cause see, when you got home, <laughs> I would have been waiting on you. I said, baby, I would have been in the parking lot. <laughs> you better than me, mama, at home waiting. <laughs> baby, when he came out the door of that apartment complex or if she got out the car, I would have jumped in the passenger side and said, how you doing? <laughs> okay, period. Did I ever tell y'all on Valentine's Day I was messing with this dude, right? And I ended up finding out where the girl lived or whatever, whatever, through Facebook because they was decorating the doors and I live in a small town, okay? So he was over there on Valentine's Day, gave me my gift or whatever. So I was like, oh, I'm not the number one hoe. I get the day after. Uh-uh. So I rolled up at the girl's apartment complex. I said, I'm away because his Volvo was there. And I was like, you know what? I'm away. I was talking to my homegirl. And I was like, girl, I'm away. Okay, you know what? I'm about to go. Y'all, why that fool come out that apartment complex? I ran up on him and said, why are you here? Not why am I here? I asked him, why is he here? And we got into it at that apartment complex in the parking lot. Sure did. I found him. I'm not lying. Boy, I was wild back in my days. You cannot run game on me. I'm psychic. I will find you. His mom talking about, I'm going to be at home waiting. Baby, <laughs> I'm going to be behind him waiting. She, I'll be in her apartment waiting. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And he told his mama that he doesn't like Sarah Ann. Bullshit. Okay. And she said he's fake. So this is what Laura said. She said he is fake. He was fake in the pods. He's immature. He tried to send her flowers. And she was like, uh-uh, baby. You cannot have my address. Your name is not fiance in my phone. It's Jeremy, the liar who likes Sarah Ann and don't want to admit his feelings. I said, oh, no, that's right, girl. Don't send me flowers. Don't send me no Kroger flowers that you only spent $10 on. I can do that myself, okay? And she said he's, she's tired of him flipping her words, trying to confuse her and all that. She said, you ain't nothing but a con artist, okay? I said, ooh, and he is, because you know he had a fiance before he started the show. Talking about he sold the house because he wanted to move into a house with his wife. Lies, 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 okay? And he said, I came into this, um, came into the show with the best intentions. Laura said, bullshit. I said, I know that's right, Laura. She said, go kick rocks with open toe shoes. I said, oh, no, you didn't, girl. No, you did. You know when you stub your toe on the coffee table, the end of the coffee table leg or your bed, baby, you be about ready to cry and die and panic and fan baby, baby. She said, kick the rocks with your toes out. Uh-uh, she was not playing with him. She was crying and all that. Then AD was talking to Sarah Ann like, why would you think that was appropriate? He has a fiance. Well, I felt like he left the door open. And AD's like, okay. And um, the DM, and AD's like, baby, I read the DM. You're disrespectful, basically, but whatever you say. Well, he said he was going to end it with her after that car, Um, after we talked in the car. He didn't come up to my apartment, hand on Bible. And I said, okay, well, you can do a lot of things in the car. <laughs> You can do a lot of things in the car, okay? Especially if you got a BMW SUV. Let me stop. <laughs> you can do a lot of things in a car. Lay the seats back. <laughs> anyway, so she ended up talking to Jeremy, Sarah Ann, and was like, I'm tired of people. They need to mind their own business and worry about their own relationship. I said, well, you didn't say it to AD's face, ho. Go say it to AD's face. That she need to worry about her relationship. She just trying to say, why you being messy and why you sending him DMs? For what? Really, he ain't no catch. He immature. He just on here for clout and fame. Why you asking? So him and her end up getting on jet skis and riding into the gloomy weather together. And Laura was crying. I said, Lord, don't you cry over him. Don't you cry over spilt milk, honey. <laughs> Fuck him and Sarah Ann. Let her have him. Maybe on the reunion, they'd be back, they'll be together. Shit. Let's get into AD and Clay since we talking about AD any damn way, okay? Her mom 
mama said because he because i guess ad has set up a cute date or whatever at the house and he didn't show up and her mama said is he in the secret service why can't he be there and i'm like right like what is going on i feel like ad is making more of an effort than clay i don't think they gonna get married either i seen clay on tiktok and i was like mm, did i like it i don't think so because i was like <laughs> i still don't know what you're doing i don't trust you okay so he met her mom and he's not making time for her it seems like he's just not really making time he has all these excuses of like why he can't be at the townhouse that netflix has provided for them okay and then his he was telling the mama about his mama and daddy and all their mistakes and blah 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 and he thinks he's gonna make the same mistakes and her mama was like that's their business that has nothing to do with you you are an entrepreneur you're doing what you're supposed to be doing why are you worried about your mama and daddy's relationship those are our mistakes you don't need to be worried about our mistakes you can make your own choices and learn from us i said okay okay ad's mama what her mama cute i said okay well, i see you with your little dress <laughs> Mama, you better, you better, you better give him some. Let him know, baby. So her mom had great advice. Then she was talking about Obama and Michelle. I said, now you done took it too far. <laughs> Obama? <laughs> we, no, 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 no. Clay is not giving Obama, okay? But he giving something. I'm not going to take that away from him. But, okay. But I don't know... AD and Clay, and then he's talking about the date and being like, does the date matter? Well, just say you don't want to get married. They were filling out the marriage license and all that, and she had to mark the C's. He marked it for her. That was cute or whatever, whatever. But I'm trying to figure out what, okay. He mentioned the date because I don't think he wants to get married, but then she said, if it's a yes or no, she doesn't care. But then said, if it's a no, she don't think she could be in a relationship with him. And I was like, okay, so you do care if it's a yes or no. And she doesn't want to be in a long engagement. And I'm just like, okay. So I don't think they're going to get married because Clay is giving all the signs that he doesn't want to be married. And now that we know Netflix just be finding people anywhere, okay? They just be picking people up, okay? He probably don't want to get married. He probably was a single man living his best life, doing what he want to do, his Airbnb, Airbnbs, his jet skis and all that. Sh he got going on his boats, his company. He wasn't worried about getting married, but then why not have clout and success if you could, if Netflix reached out to you? Okay. What else? And then he said he's not good at leading relationships, but AD told her mom that, she would follow him. I was like, how can you follow a man that doesn't want to lead, honey? <laughs> we all want a Malcolm X till it's time. Till it's time, honey. We all want a Martin Luther King. Shout out to all the black folks for Black History Month. Okay, because it's the last day and I didn't say nothing with my rude ass. But he doesn't want to lead. He doesn't know how to lead a relationship. So how are you going to follow a man that doesn't know how to lead and doesn't want to lead? I just, I like A.D., they went and painted tennis shoes or whatever. That was boring. They picked out their wedding dress. She had her sisters and her niece. That was cute or whatever. What did her veil say? Death do us part or something? I'm like, girl, you ain't going to get to that part because he's going to be at the altar talking about hell no to the no, no, no. Hell no. Mm -mm. I ain't going to do it. Oh, I got a six pack. Ooh, okay, I was like, now I do like a, I'm a sucker for a man with a six pack, baby. Mm, that's how I got pregnant with my second child. So we gonna have to see what happened with AD and Clay. Her mama was giving good advice, but it is what it is. If he ain't ready, he just ain't goddamn ready. Did I miss somebody? I feel like, did I miss somebody? Let me see. I think I talked about everybody. I really do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Baby, it took a lot out of me to do this. It took a lot out of me because the, the episodes was boring. I had to watch it twice and I barely got through the second time. I was like, I can't do this. I want to go watch the uh the Airbender or something. Like, I want to go watch Avatar. I don't want to watch this no more. I don't want to watch this no more. I'll be watching 90 Day Fiance Single Life. 
Yeah, I do. I got I got some secret shows I'll be watching that don't be telling y'all because I want stuff to myself. Baby, I'm about to watch Avatar, The Last Airbender. That's why, because people said that's good. That's what I'm about to watch because Love is Blind ain't going to worry me, honey. They ain't going to worry me. I'm ready for these weddings. I know some of y'all is ready for my wedding veil because you know I got my veil and I'm ready. I'm ready to put my veil on for these weddings because I don't know who going to get married. I'm going to say... Amy and Johnny is the only couple that's going to get married. I do not see it for Clay and AD, and I do not see it for Jimmy and Chelsea. Jimmy just gives me fake vibes all the way through. Like, he is an actor. Somebody said that. Like, are these people paid actors? I said, you know what? I never even thought about that. But Jimmy get, definitely gives me actor, okay? Actor. He is ready. And Clay, I just think Clay just doing some shit at this point. And I'm just sick and tired of the women being ready to marry and these men are playing games. I am sick of it. I'm tired of it. And Netflix, you better get your sh together. I'm sick of it. Quit doing my people like this. These women don't need to be done like this, getting played with. And you know what? When Laura, you knew Jeremy was immature anyway, because I said it in my first review. I said, this fool is immature. I don't know. He's just immature. Let Sarah Ann have him if she thinks she won a mother prize okay like share comment and subscribe baby i will see y'all next week have you been watching the traders i know i keep saying i'm gonna do a review on it but i'll be being lazy y'all i really do be being lazy but phaedra is playing a hell of a game i can't believe they left us on a cliffhanger but i can watch it tonight i'm definitely gonna watch it tonight like baby what oh if they vote phaedra out i'm gonna be so mad because she's been playing a heck of a game man Oh, y'all got to watch Traders. If y'all ain't watching, y'all got to watch it. So I have a goal. If you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. You are my favorite. Them other ones that already clicked off the video, they're not my favorite. <laughs> you are my favorite. But guess what I'm going to do in March? This is my goal because I bought a camera, right? I bought a camera. Uh, the girl bought a camera, okay? And I want to do vlogs all of March. All of March. Let me show you this cute camera I, I bought. It is so cute, you guys. Let me get, it looks like, you know what? I ain't trying to flash y'all, so let me get up carefully. Y'all see something? Y'all better not. Y'all better not. I got this cute camera, Canon. It is super cute. I'm thinking about getting another one because it was kind of overheating, but a lot of the vloggy girls use it because you can like vlog in public and people think it's a phone. It is super cute. And I want to do a lot of like grow your YouTube channel are saying like do videos all through March. I would love to do like maybe short 10 minute vlogs or something or even chit chats or even go live. I want to expand myself because I feel like sometimes I put myself in a box with these TV shows, you know, and I'll be doing stand up comedy. I'll be having shows. I'll be going to open mic. I'll be just doing other things. So I got a new camera. I might get another camera because I'm just that crazy. But that's the plan if you watch this far. So you'll know that it's coming. I'm coming for you. And I got a brand new tattoo. Let me show you. Look at my new tattoo. Look at my new tattoo. It's starting to peel though. But I did get some new ink and I cried like a, and my friend was like, you done had two kids. Girl, what are two kids got to do when a needle is ripping down through your skin slowly but surely? He did one line and I said, are you done? He had just started. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all in my next video. Maybe it'll be a vlog. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But Jay Shanice is expanding. Bye.